So this side is going to go on the air intake side. We're going to take the filter off like I said yesterday. If this is too small, I suspect it might be like just that much too small. I've got some extra kitchen roll to wrap around that just like I've been doing here. We don't smoke, as you guys know. We don't have cigarettes. There's no one around that smokes. There's usually two guys that live somewhere there that smoke, but they come back in the evening and we want to get this done before it's dark. This is for the people that don't um, smoke and don't have access to cigarettes, young kids, whatever, um, or Asians like us. The out one is going to go into the filter so we can pump it into the intake system. And this is the inny side. So you've got the inny and the outy. I've wrapped this because obviously that's really small. It's really big, so you stuff it in there and then just twist it, push it, and it will go in. We have three incense sticks. It's not amazing, but three of them should give a bunch of smoke. So yeah, decent amount of smoke, yeah? And these will go for ages. Bye, Kato. Kato boy, say bye. So we need to wrap that one or two times, yeah? All right, put them on the floor together. And we're just going to put this on top. So they're there. And we should hopefully have some smoke. Yeah, so smoke's coming up the top, as you guys can see. Not a massive amount, but it should do. So we'll just leave it for see if it even works. Is it even coming out? No. So if we hold it like this, it works fine. Because um, obviously it's, it's going through. I just made an incision there and there. Uh, heat I heated it up, it up with a lighter just to get it on. So now it's quite seems airtight. There's no gaps and stuff, so this should work better. We've I think got that's, four this time. I think that's where the issue was. So we'll pop that down. We've got four of these incense sticks this time. What we'll do is we'll pop this side in, take this side out. And just see if it actually gets lit. And then what we'll also do oh, is before I just had single bits of tissue roll. So now I've got a longer one so you can wrap it all the way around. Slightly more snug fit. I mean, there's still a tiny little air gap. It's a nice snug fit now. We're going to light these insects. We got four instead of three as well. Okay, so I've got you on my testicles. And then, yeah, go. Yeah, we should have had the tripod. Alright, let's go. This is go. just a test anyway. We should hopefully see. We do it this way. Yeah, smoke. Hope you guys can see that. I've got the things you do for your top. you got to take a picture of me doing this. So, yeah, you see a bit of smoke coming out here. Okay. So this is opening up and then the smoke's coming out. So I need to just... That moves around a tiny bit, so you just need to plug the hole, that's it. Um, a lot of people would put like a cap. So when you haven't got an aftermarket intake, you can just get like the lid of a WD-40 can or something. And then you can fiddle with that. I don't know if we're losing all our smoke here. Like. Yeah. Maybe there are no air leaks. I don't think there are any. Right, so by the looks of it, there's no air leaks. I'll put you guys down there and then my camera stopped recording for whatever reason that it keeps doing that. But there doesn't seem to be any air leaks. At the moment, all the smoke's just coming out here. I've got to say, your engine base smells really nice. Yeah. But look, there's, there's no smoke coming out anywhere. So I think we are good, look. There's a lot more pumping in. Yeah, it seems all good. So we can even just see 
got some smoke in there. But there's still smoke coming out, so it was going in. There's no air leak then. Yeah. Yeah, it looks all good.